Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about hearing, hearing loss, and me having had new hearing aids fitted today. So a lot of people will know on my channel and just in everyday life that I have a hearing condition. I have had hearing problems for about the last 15 years, maybe, unfortunately, slightly longer. So most of my adult life, in fact, all of my adult life, I have lived with hearing problems, hearing difficulties, tinnitus, um, and throughout most of my teenage years, sadly, were... I don't want to say overtaken, um, but they were very much the centre of attention throughout my teenage years, vertigo, hearing loss, and those kind of nasty issues. And where am I at the moment? So for me, acceptance was a very big thing at the first uh, point when I started having hearing problems. Um, as a very young person, starting to have hearing problems, um, was it was really difficult to deal with. Um, where am I in my life now? Unfortunately, it's never kind of a straightforward thing where you can just get used to. I've always struggled, and sometimes I still have real bad days of accepting it. It's partly why actually I grew my hair a lot longer, because I could hide my hearing aids. Um, now I know that sounds terribly vain, um, but for me it was a confidence thing, and it was also just because I used to struggle with the fact that if it it changed people's perception. As I've got a little bit older, I've realised that that doesn't matter. And with the help of my amazing parents, um, and my mum actually always says to me that having hearing aids and having a hearing loss does not change the wonderful person you are and doesn't change the lovely person you are. So I always think of that and always brings a smile to my face. My nan, who bless her heart, I don't have anymore. I lost her back last May, was incredibly supportive and always with me without my hearing problems as well. If you've probably guessed, my hearing has declined over a number of years. Um, and I've tried many different hearing aids. So it first started off um, as having a hearing aid in my left side, which was my deaf ear, sadly, now completely. And I started off having a hearing aid here, um, which helped and it boosted the problem. And that was when I first started hearing aids, when I was in my early teenage years. As life happened and things unfortunately grew a little bit worse, my hearing declined completely on this side and I lost my hearing. Um, I lost quite a lot of hearing back in 20. Uh, 2009 and 2010. I think if I remember rightly, I lost quite a lot of hearing there. And slowly, as it got worse, I changed having different hearing aids. Um, so I had I started off with a hearing aid uh, helping me in this ear. In between that time, I had lots of different devices to try and boost my hearing to help me hear a lot more clearly. Um, and then I went to a then eventually I went to a cross system with a wire at the back of my neck. It's almost like a, a hearing aid in my good ear, but it was actually um, almost like the signal. And that would send the sound through the wire at the back of my neck into my deaf ear. And that was as things got worse. Um, technology moved on, of course, as it does. In the meantime of that, I've tried private hearing aids. I've tried numerous different sort of setups of hearing aids. Private hearing aids were incredibly expensive, and for the benefit what I got from them, I didn't warrant the cost, so I had them for a little while. Um, tried all different sort of methods, all different sort of setups. Never particularly got on with them, as well as what I actually did um, as the National Health uh, Hearing uh, here, uh, audiology sort of department at my local hospital and another local hospital nearby. Um, I've had fantastic service at my local hospital and the audiology uh, department there. And through growing up since my teenage years, uh, the audiology team have been really, really great with me as well. And I don't just mean that, I mean a hearing therapist too. Uh, of course, losing my hearing was really, really difficult to bear and it was really difficult to go through. My family have always been really supportive with that, my parents especially, and my nan especially. Um, but life was difficult, and life still is on certain days. Um, so as technology moved on from the cross system, I have actually got, I'm going to put them on, on the end of this clip as well, I've got from when I last done a review, which must be maybe two, if not longer, years ago now. And... Um, then I had the cross system, then they tried me again with trying to boost my deaf ear with the little sound I had left. Unfortunately, it didn't really work, so I went back to the cross system. And a cross system, again, if you're not aware of what that is, it's a hearing aid in your good ear, but it's actually like the microphone, and it sends that hearing what's hearing in the good ear and mimics it across into your deaf ear because I didn't hear sound anymore. Um, and the wire at the back of my neck, which was a brilliant system, but unfortunately, just with sort of 
life in general and wearing clothes, and especially if I was wearing a jumper or anything like this at all, having a wire there, I remember sometimes turning my head and then it pulling the other side off my ear. So it would be it would be quite uncomfortable at times, but it was a fantastic system and it was something which worked for me very, very well. Um, again, as time progressed on, technology changed. I was given a wireless cross system. Bearing in mind at this time, I had a slight change in my good ear and my deaf ear just completely just went. Um, and unfortunately, that went down to profound hearing loss. My hearing loss is sensory profound. It's not bone conductive or anything like that at all. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but sensory profound, an easy way of understanding that is kind of switching off from the brain. Um, and I had, I've had problems with sort of progressive sort of hearing loss uh, throughout my teenage years where things have gradually got worse. Um, and in the last couple of years, nothing too much, thank goodness, has changed. I would say I've recently started noticing issues within the last six months, um, around the same time as I lost my man, to be quite honest with you. Um, really, really dark time in my life, lots of stress, um, changed me completely as a person. So, difficult times. So I have kind of, and throughout this period, these years actually of hearing uh, problems and having new hearing aids and throughout this whole experience, I used to have uh, hearing checkups every six months and now um, and I see the consultant, I would say yearly, perhaps every other year, just to keep an eye on me, seeing how things are going, because I also have balance related problems as well. Um, and I've always had question mark, and I say question mark because this is what it says on my diagnosis letter that I have many ears disease, which is a balance sort of vertigo sort of illness. Um, I don't want to say illness, um, sort of condition which you live with. Um, and I usually have about two nasty episodes of vertigo sickness, um, poor balance, um, real unbearable tinnitus, probably about twice a year. But lately, in the last six months, that's been happening monthly, and I've been having days in the mornings where I've been feeling really very unwell with it, and my balance can just shoot me off to the side, and it makes you feel really uncomfortable. So a couple of weeks ago, I had my latest hearing assessment. Now, I was not shocked to learn, but my hearing had changed, um, had deteriorated a little. Um, again, kind of a bittersweet moment, because thinking that actually now I have an answer, and then, of course, in the other part of me thinking, wow, I'm only 28. What's life going to be like in the future? But like anything in life, it doesn't do us any good to jump ahead or to try and look into the future. Um, so and with my amazing parents and my amazing audiologist, I, I really am trying to be strict to myself not to try and look ahead and plan the future because we, we have no control. And what I'm trying to say myself, uh, say to myself is that if we don't have any control and I can't control it, then why should I worry about it? Because it's not going to change it. I know it's really, really hard. And believe you me, sometimes I'm upset, sometimes I'm down, and sometimes I can't get my head around it. But I have no choice. I have to. So I try to turn this into a positive. I try to learn from this. I try to grow from this. And I do truly believe that it, it does make me stronger, to be quite honest with you. I may have uh, hearing problems, but I have so many other strengths in different areas. So for example, my communication skills I'm really proud my writing I'm very very proud how I can put myself across in meetings and um, important events and sort of talks and things like that I'm really very proud so what I may lack in some areas I certainly make up for in others as well which I do try to turn I think that's a testament to my life as well I turn I try to turn every challenge into a positive or if I can't do that and there's a problem I try to meet that problem or bring that problem to somebody's attention with a potential resolution rather than me saying this is wrong there's nothing I can do, or what can I do? I like to try to think outside the box and bring a resolution to that. So I think that's how it's kind of grown me. So sometimes I think to myself that I haven't grown in confidence and things, but then I actually realise that actually I have. So fast forward until today, and I've had new hearing aids fitted. Again, a little bit of a bittersweet moment, because in my good side, this is no longer just a, it's no longer just a sort of speaker for my deaf side. Um, it is actually now a hearing aid. So, and this is helping me. So I'm just going to take this one out and bear with me because it's new and it's very, very different. So this is very, very small. I don't mind showing this. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind it. it the worst thing in the world is when people stare. I always think if somebody's going to stare, ask a question because why? Why? I find that incredibly rude. If somebody's staring and I have had people stare at me with hearing aids and I just think, just ask the question and I'd be more happier to answer it rather than 
just somebody sort of looking at you and sort of presuming and all those sort of weird and nasty wonderful things in this world. Um, so this is my new hearing aid. It's from Otacon, uh, I believe, what is it from? It's Otacon, I'm still getting used to it. As you can see, I've had them fitted earlier at the local hospital today. My mum came with me and we went out for lunch afterwards. So this is a lot smaller. I'd love to have compared them, but because in the National Health Service, and I think this is, this is test, I'm all about charity and I love to be able to help people. I think truly that in this life, if we have one life, which we do, why enough would you not want to spend, spend it doing good things and helping people? So my old hearing aids, have now gone off um, and they will be, uh, I can't remember the word now, re sort of manufactured or rejuvenated as to speak. And if they're not used here in the UK, they go off to uh, developing countries, developing nations, and they're used in hearing care in those communities and less fortunate than us, which I think is just incredible. Um, and that doesn't mean to say, I, I really don't see that as a negative. I see that as a positive that after um, we've used something or we've got or we've got what we can out of something, it doesn't necessarily mean to say that, that is the end of that product's life. So I do truly believe in charity and I like I love to help charities. Um I love to work with one actually. Um and I and I really do do my bit for that. Um so that's great for my old hearing aids. So that I haven't got them to compare unfortunately. But what's really great about this is I no longer have the hearing mold. My ear used to have a very full, heavy hearing mold. And that was partly one because I couldn't have any interference on my deaf side um, because of the amount of hearing loss I've got. But now with technology moving on again, so bear in mind I've gone from having a wire at the back of my neck to then having quite chunky moulds inside being wireless to now being completely wireless with very thin tubing and uh, a mould inside. So now I've got the plastic uh, sort of quite pliable sort of grip inside the ear and I've got a volume control on this hearing aid as well, which is just great. Um, and this just helps me. This helps me pick up, and I'll tell you exactly how this has improved life for me, because in the last six months I've noticed things sort of like, TV has to come up a little bit louder, I have to keep saying pardon, sorry. And I find that I can tell now because when I put it back in, even my own voice sounds softer, the edges of the words sound softer. For example, all the sh and the, ch and the sort of tapping on things and things like that just seem softer. When I put the hearing aid in, it's almost like that you've ramped up the clarity and you've made everything sound much more crisp which is brilliant. So that can be used as a standalone hearing aid now for me, or just I looking at it as just a bit of a boost, a bit of a helping hand, which in life we could all deal with, couldn't we? So, and this one, this is the snazzy one, because I'm completely deaf sadly in this ear, and having a test recently, there's pretty much nothing left in this ear. And I often try to think to myself about how it used to be when I used to hear in this ear. And do you know what? I can't really remember. I've racked my mind so many times thinking about how this used to be. I think because it's a sense and it's sent through profound hearing loss and I've lost it gradually. <clears throat> Excuse me. This has just, it's just completely gone. So I, I don't know. I don't really know any different. I get sad about it sometimes. I get down about it sometimes. Often when I look in the mirror and I think to myself, I, I struggle sometimes, I tell you what, when I look in the mirror and I think to myself, wow, I'm a young person, I'm a young man, and I've got my whole life ahead of me, and something already has started to decline or has deteriorated, and I think to myself, it's just a weird sensation, that I can never really get my head around. Then I try and turn that into a positive and think, well, actually, Bradley, you've done well in this, or you've done good in this, or you can do it in that. So I always try to turn things around. It's not always easy, of course it's not, but that's probably my little bit of advice I'd give you as well. So this is slightly different, whereas on the other hearing aid, as you can see, and this is lovely because before you could really see that I had the chunky sort of moulds in the hearing aids, and now I've just got this thin tube, which is great. So here, that's a tube. This here is a tube, but with a wire in. And this is almost like the, this is almost like the imitation hearing kind of device from this ear. So this is hearing is being put over into my deaf ear through this wonderful device here. So again, very, very fiddly, very, very small, um, much smaller. It's got a volume control, which is great. And my past hearing aids, um, I used to have uh, lots of different, um, lots of kind of snazzy gadgets where I could have a music setting or all sorts of settings and things, which was great. But to be honest with you, I never really used it. I never really seen the benefit of it because it just made everything louder. And it didn't really help, to be quite honest with you. Whereas with this now, I haven't got that. I've opted not to have that. I'm sure I could have if I wanted to. But now I've just got the volume control and I've got a, a, a turn off button, which is just brilliant because I never had that before. And whereas now if it gets too much on that side, I can turn that ear off because, of course, I will say to you, hearing with hearing aids is nothing like natural sound at all in natural hearing. And then I can just 
I can just get on about my day or get on about if I'm in a particularly difficult situation, but I need my ear a little bit stronger. I've got this hearing aid and I can just turn this off because being this isn't real hearing, sometimes I don't need this. So that's great. So now I'm just going to put this back in. So again, they're a little bit fiddly because there's no mold. So that is going to be a bit of a learning experience for me. So I just put the mold in first and then slip this behind my ear. And then this thin plastic tube, which you can't even really see, and then just put this in the part of my ear. And as you can see, it's in my ear, it's out the way. And not being, uh, what I really love as well, and I know I can, I know I've got hearing aids in, but you wouldn't necessarily know I've got hearing aids in right now, which I love. And for years I struggled with that. And now it's not so much more of an issue, but sometimes when I have those days about confidence, which we all do, doesn't mean to say anything wrong at all. It's great because that just really, really helps. And what are the results? So I've got my Otacon hearing aids in now. I'll show you the little box set which it came, uh, which had come in, and I've got my sort of cleaning tubes here for the for the um, tube, and I've got the replacement moulds, so I have to change them every three months. This sort of plasticky bit here, and the sort of end little cushion bit on the end that I can change every three months on when I see fit. Lovely lady at the hospital gave me two packs of batteries, which is really, really cool. So I don't have to keep worrying about that as well. And I've got a whole host of different instructions and things here, which is great if I get stuck with any of the settings or anything. So that's really great. But what's really great is the clarity. Everything seems that much more crisp, that much more clear. Slight downside, I personally sound like a little bit of a computer. Like I said to you before, Natural sound is an absolute gift. When you start to lose natural sound, hearing aids can help. Yes, absolutely. But they're nothing like natural sound. But these are very, very good. And I'm over the moon with the quality of sound I've got. And you know what? I can, I must have been, I must have been going about sort of certain sounds for a very long time because now touching things and sort of the rusting of paper and of boxes and things like that is so much more crisp and clear for me. Um, and actually hearing voices, it's the clarity of my own voice is really, really different. When I heard my mum speak for the first time, when I had them in, the clarity and they're much more sort of, I could hear on so many more kind of levels, the clarity and the crispness of people's voice, which will help me, of course, with hearing as well, was just amazing. So that was really, really great. So today's been a really good, a really good day, a really good fitting. Um, some bittersweet moments, of course, because now I have a little bit of help on my good side. So it's not necessarily the good side anymore. But um, I don't have any control over it. So I'm making the best of a bad situation. And, you know, going forward, I feel happy. I feel positive. This is going to be another tool to keep me more involved in conversation and switched on in the world. So um I'm taking this as a positive. Who knows what's going to happen for the future? Um, so many awful things we hear on a daily basis. You've only got to switch on the TV. I think myself incredibly lucky in this life. And I think if we start with that, first of all, and choose to have a bright day, then anything else set our way, yeah, it may well set us back. But we can just try and bounce it off as much as possible. And at the end of the day, if we get to go again next day, then it can only ever get better. I try to work on positivity because the best thing to deal with negativity is, of course, positivity. So when you've had a hearing problem and things have got worse, I've never always been this positive, I can assure you. But um, I really do try to sort of come back and hit back at it because why not? And you just get up and you dust yourself off and you go again. Um, yeah, I have down days about it. Of course I do. But um. But today, this is a good day. So I really hope that you've enjoyed me talking about my hearing uh, problems, hearing loss, and turning this round and having my new hearing aids fitted. I would love to have showed you um, my old ones and compared them. But basically, I've lost the big chunky sort of mould in my ear, and I've got much more air freeing, uh, flowing throughout my ear now, which which helps because I get quite a lot of ear infections because that warmth, that sort of moist area there. So with having something constant in your ear, you can imagine, are more susceptible to getting ear infections. And if you want to know how my hearing loss um, started to occur, they actually think that that happened because growing up I had, when I was about three and four, I had so many ear infections um, and about the um, having antibiotics so regularly, they think that that may have had something to do with triggering off the start of my hearing loss problems. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, one of those things. Uh, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready to keep going back at it. And I'm sure in a few years, time we'll be reviewing it again. Um, of course, who knows what's going to happen in this life. Um, I take nothing for granted. I try to take nothing for granted at all. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with the new hearing aids which I've had fitted today. So a huge thank you to my audiologist, huge thank you to the audiology department at my uh, local hospital. And yeah, I'm ready to go once again with 
improved hearing is to speak. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for sharing this. If you have any questions at all about my journey or my hearing problems, then please feel free to ask. I'm always happy to talk, happy to answer questions. Um, it means the world to me that people do connect. So thank you very much in advance. Okay, so thanks very much for the last time of being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.